गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आज हम देखेंगे न्यूमरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन द एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडलेशन पे सो एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडलेशन में अगर हमने सबसे पहले मैथमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन देखा था एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडलेटेड का मॉडल मॉडुलेशन इंडेक्स का डेरिवेशन देखा था देन उसमें कैसे फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ साइड में कैसे कैसे डिनोट करते हैं कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं उसकी वेब हमने सभी चीज़ें हम लोग देख चुके हैं ये सभी चीज़ें हम पढ़ चुके हैं अब आज हम जो टॉपिक ले रहे हैं दैट इज न्यूमरिकल्स बेस ऑन द एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडलेटेड न्यूमरिकल्स सॉल्व करने के लिए कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूले हैं दैट इज मॉडलेटिंग सिग्नल रिप्रेजेंट बाई एम्स माइन टू पा एम देन सेकेंड फॉर्मूला दैट इज कैरियर सिग्नल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय इसी वस्तु इसी साइन टू पा एक्स then modulation index and percentage modulation is given by m equals to e m by c and percentage modulation which is nothing but the e m by c multiplied by 100 then frequencies of sideband component that is upper sideband is represented by f u s b and it is given by x plus f m lower sideband is denoted by f l s b then It is given by x minus f. Then amplitude of side band. यानि ये दोनों side band का amplitude जो हम represent करते हैं by the formula m is by. Then bandwidth requirement for a of wave which is nothing but the bandwidth equals to twice f. Now we are seeing one new variable that is in which a modulating signal nine sine two phi in two phi into ten raised to the power two e. is used to modulate a carrier signal where sin phi multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 t then calculate modulation index percentage modulation frequency of sideband component their amplitude then bandwidth of modulated signal aur iska frequency spectrum bhi aapko draw karna hai so this numerical is asked for 4 marks or 6 marks in exam so first here here i we may write that the solution and given data given data sabse pehla here is the modulating signal the modulating signal is given by that is nine sin Two pi into ten raised to the power two. So modulating signal is always denoted by the E M, which is nothing but E M sine two pi f n two. This is the first equation, and this is the second. That is. By comparing both the equations, comparing both equation, we get that is here is E M equals to nine two. E M equals to nine two, and with modulating frequency F M, which is nothing but the Three 
comparing both the equation we get EC equals to 12 volt and FC that is the carrier frequency is nothing but the tendency to the power 3 parts. So this is for modulating signal and carrier signal. Now this is the step 1. Step 1. Now in step 2 here we have calculated the modulation index and percentage modulation. So formula for percentage modulation and modulation index that is the modulation index m equals to em by c and multiply by is 100 that is the percentage of modulation. So in step 2 here we may calculate modulation index first is modulation index which is represented by and according to formula m is nothing but the em by ec m equals to em by ec so the value of em is 9 volt and ec is 12 volt so put here values that is 9 divided by 12 volt equals to which is nothing but the 0 0.75 this is the dimension is quantity so now second percentage modulation is percentage modulation equals to that is the formula for percentage modulation that is EM by C multiply by 100 so EM by AC multiply by 100 and EM by C is nothing but the 0 0.75 multiply by 100 so percentage of modulation is nothing but the 75 percent 75 then step 3 now we are calculate frequencies of sideband component and their amplitude so frequencies of sideband Thank you. 
like this so here is this is the modulating signal jiske frequency rahenge 1 kilo hertz 1 kilo hertz aur jiska amplitude rahega jiska amplitude rahega